Hey guys, what's up? Another tutorial. I'm going to show you how I painted this rustic uh, F100 classic. Uh, it's a 56. Uh, let's get right into it. First thing after I wash and clean the body, uh, I'm going to start spraying black. Uh, mix one to one, one part paint, one part reducer, just on the front end. I'm not worried about blocking off anything because I'm looking for a rustic look. So I want this black to, uh, I, I need that overspray to head towards the back of this body. At this point, after I've done the black, I've done a couple of flames because I want the front end to look burnt. So now uh, I'm taking that same black and I'm going around all of the outlines on this body. The doors, the roof, the trunk, around the wheel wells, the, uh, the guards, uh, the guardrails, everything. Then I'm going to take this transparent light brown and spray a nice light coat. Then I'm doing the rivets. I'm spraying just a dot of white and outlining them in black. Uh, because I use the uh, transparent brown uh, prior, it kind of helps tone down the white a little bit. I've done all of the rivets around the wheel well spaces. And then what I've done is I've taken my finger and rubbed out a couple of areas because I want this body to look worn. I want it to look beaten. So I rub out a couple of spaces uh, to get a, a worn look. I've sprayed a few coats of black. Uh, with the brown uh, to get me the tones that I want and I'm using this uh, Autoborn sealer to uh, seal in the colors in between uh, sprays when I'm doing the black. I back this body in a gray uh, and then I'm using a clear coat spraying this on kind of heavy uh, as you can see it's nice and glossy and I peel out uh, the side windows and the back windows and I use my black and spray a really light dusting on the windows to tint them peel out the front window I'm leaving that clear um, and then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my exacto knife to trim around all of the windows because when I peel off the overspray I want to leave the overspray on the windows because uh, you can see this body is nice and shiny when you peel off that overspray and that's not the look we're looking for I want this truck to look old I want it to look weathered so uh, I don't want my windows to look like that I just want the body to look like that so what I'm gonna do is uh, I trimmed around the windows I'm peeling off this overspray and I'm going to use uh, a can of Rust-Oleum flat clear and what that will do is that will dull the body. There you go. It's a matte clear. I'm going to spray this all over this body and use a heat gun to dry it. I'm doing several coats. You want to do this lightly because if you spray too heavy, it builds up a shine. So you want to spray a couple of light coats, use the heat gun, dry it, hit it again, front, sides, back, and dull it right down. But what's absolutely fantastic about this is that underneath, there you go, I'm peeling off the, the window film. You can see how nice and shiny the windows are. But um, underneath my nice dull mat is a shiny body. So what's great is you can either leave it like this as a show truck or as you're driving it and beating it up, you're going to scratch off uh my mat and reveal some shiny coats uh, which only helps with the weathered look because some trucks have some shiny some tr trucks have some dark spaces but you know the end result is this and this truck came out really really great um, it's really really easy to do it probably took me about 45 minutes to do the whole paint job uh, from from trim to you know photos so any questions, just hit me in the comments and uh, I'll get back to you. Thanks, guys.